Okay, it's August the 19th, 2021. I'm out here sort of surveying the nut crop we've got here in Middle Tennessee. I've got this little small digital camera zoomed in. Well, this is a pretty good sized hickory tree here. You, you look, you'll probably see some nuts up there on them limbs. Quite a few nuts on this tree, actually. Zoom out here so you can see the trunk of this tree here. Pretty good size old hickory. Okay. And she goes way up in there too. We're gonna go look at some more trees. Okay, this is a American walnut tree we're looking at here. I'm gonna zoom this camera up. You might can see them nuts on that tree. Okay, now this farm here, I actually hunt this farm here. It's about 300 or something acres, and there's a lot of walnut trees on this farm. And last year there was no walnuts, and I didn't do that good on this farm. It should be a real good year here. Okay, another American walnut tree. I'm going to zoom out on the camera here. That tree there is loaded with walnuts, okay? Covered up. Zoom back in there, maybe you can get a look at them. Move it around a little bit. Plenty of walnuts on that tree. And these trees set low, which they're more susceptible to a late frost. We had some cooler weather here in the spring, and I think that helped preserve these trees. They didn't bud out so early. We've got a few more trees we're going to look at here. Okay, we're coming up on this pretty good sized walnut tree here. We're going to see what it's got on it. Looks like she's loaded. If I can hurry up and get up here. So I want to try to go take a couple of pictures of at least one oak tree and a couple of more hickories. Let's see if I can get this camera zoomed in here so you see these here. Maybe you see them nuts on that tree there. There's plenty of them on here. These squirrels aren't going to starve this winter. There's going to be plenty of them. Alright, we'll quit here and go somewhere else. Okay, I'm not going to get close to one of these walnut trees. But uh, I've got one right here, in front of me right here. It's got nuts on it. I don't know if you'll be able to see them. I've got some glare in that sky there, okay? I'm going to pan this camera back out. Okay, this is about an 85 acre farm I hunt, and most of the trees that you see in this camera, believe it or not, most are walnuts. There's probably 100 walnuts on this farm right here, 85 acres, and there's some sizable walnuts on it too, and there's some small ones. I've been up in here scouting around, and these trees are covered up. This is another area I didn't do too good in last year. The year before I did better, there was some walnuts. Okay, this is not a tree a squirrel would eat, that's an ash tree. That's what the ash hopper beetle is doing to the trees here. I'll pan over here and you'll probably see the dead limbs in that one up there too. There's several ash trees right here in this little area. And I'm on a friend here who owns 20 acres. I'm going to turn this camera off. We're going to go down here and look at a few of his hickory. Okay, we're looking up at a shag bark hickory here. It's got nuts on it, but these trees don't seem to be overwhelmed with nuts. And there's about a half a dozen right here in this one little area. And that's another picture of an ash tree that's already died from that beetle eating on it. Okay, here's another hickory. Now this tree here has got substantial nuts on it. Get this camera zoomed all the way up. I can see a few of them up there. This tree's about 75 feet from the last tree. It's got substantial nuts on it, not overly heavy. Maybe hard for you to see. I've got the camera zoomed all the way up. Okay, this last tree here is an oak tree, and you're probably not going to be able to see them in this camera, but. My eyes ain't lying to me. It looks like to me it's covered up. Okay. 
Well, that's a good sign. Now, this is, again, this is a tree at lower elevation, which generally, if these trees are doing good, if you go higher elevation, they're doing even better. So this should turn out to be a real nice squirrel year. And right here's a little walnut tree. Let me this camera out here. You might see them on that tree there. The little tree's covered up. Covered up, boys. I like it. I just thought I'd share this. I like what I'm seeing. Maybe it'd be a good hunting season. Hope you enjoyed. Okay, one last stop here on my way home. I wanted to check an old beast. Now this beast tree here has had the top load out of it, but it's still got some limbs on it. And I see beech mash on this tree. Now this sits at lower altitude. I, beaches generally won't grow this low here. You ain't going to see them in this camera, but it, it does have beech mash on it. So you rifle shooters, when you try one of these trees right here, I sure is for a ball. That's all I can tell you. Take a lot of shells with you. You might need them. Now this beech tree sets about 50 or 60 feet from the last one I showed. I can't even, it's so big I can't even see up in the top of it. Uh... I can't tell you if it's got any beach mash on it or not, but it's got a nice hole in it. I killed a squirrel out of this tree before, back in late last season. I hope you enjoyed the video.